folks i'm making this video um in response actually to a request several requests um to have a look at some of my sea glass um to kind of see what how much i have of it i'm letting you into just how bonkers i am but that's okay this is my art pod and this is where i make my sea glass stuff um, and it's also the venue from which I go out collecting. So, um, this is a box of really lovely, small, multicoloured pieces. Uh, at one point, oh, no, wrong. There must be another one somewhere. Oh, there it is there on the floor. Yep, lovely. So, that's my other box. They were supposed to be sorted in terms of size. Um, but I can't tell you now which is the small box and which is the big box. Every so often I take the head staggers and do a load of grading. So as you can see there, mainly aquas. Uh, nice. That was probably a beautiful stone at one point, maybe when it was damp. Aqua, aqua. Just a jumble. Aqua. White uh, sea pottery. Oh man, you see? Do you see? Do you see what's wrong with me? Okay, I am going to walk you across. I'm going past what I call my uh, disgusting table. Not that I actually believe it's disgusting, but I love children to come and have a look at all my wondrous finds, like this, which is bone, but I've no idea what from. Fish eggs, very interesting. Sea urchins, because we don't get a lot of them here, particularly uh ones that still have their spines little bits of seaweed um mermaids purses um i it delights me to explain that mermaids purses are actually shark eggs well they are here that would be a dogfish but a dogfish is a kind of shark so it still counts in my opinion i also have a skull I have the vertebrae of possibly a sheep. Um, there's a broken rabbit skull. Its teeth are still down there, so we also have a look at that. So, as you can see, lots of disgusting things. Sea glass and sea pottery, how can it be? My word. Yeah, there is no end to this. It is an obsession. And if truth be known, I also have mountains of it elsewhere. So... But I also have my very special pieces. I have this bowl, which I hope you can see has got my marbles, my clay and vulcanized and glass stoppers. Um, also stoneware ones. There's that gorgeous little ditty one there, which is the teeniest one I've ever found. I think it probably is a perfume one. Uh, this is where I have my red glass most of which isn't red glass it's mostly red plastic but i love the way the sea softens it so it's still lovely oh man i'm going to go and get my torch in a minute because this is my yellow glass and um, again lots of orange plastic there from indicator lights but it is also where i have my uv light and my um what do you call that other thing um uranium glass so it lights up in the dark there's some nice bottlenecks and a rather nice quill feather um, and then oh yikes sorry Oop. <laughs> my uh, my favorite piece of glass in the world which is this this is really old i hope you can see that it is sick it has glass disease because all the minerals are reaching out of it. I found it buried in the mud in Donica Day, and I love it. I think it is absolutely beautiful. It's sharp. So although it doesn't count for sea glass in one way, in another way it counts really well. And that's my view out there. This is Banger. So uh, our art pods are on Bangor Seafront. I can assure you it isn't as warm outside as it looks because it is a blinking cold day. Oh, actually, there's another use of sea glass, folks, just on uh, using them as window dressing, as you can see. Different sea treasures, little bits of pottery and driftwood. Okay, so 
Why don't I pick up lots of green glass? Because I have more green glass than I'm ever going to be able to use. Yep. And um, that's just one jar of stuff I brought with me to the pod 18 months ago. So here is not all, but a lot of my black glass, um, including lovely big, humongous chunks like that. Ooh, look at that bad boy. There's another ferocious fellow in there. Still, look. And what I love is, as I explained to people, sometimes the colours you get are because these bits are so thick they shear off and then you get even lovelier uh, glass underneath it this is my tiny tiny collection of peach um found in three different places and one of them as you can see is maybe a mamelon Ooh. did i show you by the way my lilac i don't think i did so that's one of my lilac jars lovely and here is my metal i love the way copper turns in when it's in the water and there is uh, pipe stems and graphite rods out of batteries so and there is in fact uh, a lego figure how lovely um i collect stuff and when I find amazing stuff like this conglomerate that looks like concrete but it's not it's actually a natural stone formation and um, that I think is slag with all different bits in it maybe I've seen that a few times shown there's a bit of old just a bit of rusty metal but I love it um, driftwood and this big old bad old bit of um, slag glass that I found in Belfast um, and then these fabulously coloured look at that isn't that absolutely marvellous so I spend a lot of time just being very happy gloating over my glass I also have these bits here that are as you can see little bits of Belfast and Donegal which is my hometown um, so I like those and I glowed over those and then nice little bit of metal uh, sea pottery which I have a lot of sorry I have lots and lots and lots of sea pottery um, which I love you see I love it all here is my blue not all of my blue but a little example of my blue my smaller See pottery bits, just nice little nibbles, lots and lots and lots of um, willow pattern in there of all different eras. So you get that that's really old and soft, but you also get bits that are quite bright blue and more modern. And because I was asked about the quality, I thought I would show this little box of... Uh, bits that were brought to me actually by someone who's very kind and collects sea glass but these are the bits where for example the bits I was rejecting uh, recently are like that they're not sharp they're really not sharp but as you can see they're not worn at all really they still um, they still look, they just look like broken bottles whereas after a little while longer they've begun to soften um, and when they get to be their best so that's had a little dink out of it but actually that's a pretty good piece of glass um, I also love this color of green that's a variety of that kind of I call it soft green you'll hear me when I'm out collecting I talk about that a lot I love that color I uh, just think it's beautiful so, um, and I was just going to find, oh crumbs, <laughs> I would be kicking over some sea glass, but I was going to end by showing you these, these are the, the bits, if you like, I keep, well I have loads of them, but these are some of the bits, uh, just to show you what a lovely, lovely piece of sea glass is. Look at that piece there, and as you can see where that dink is, I don't know if you caught that in the light, 
but that has iridescence that little dink even has iridescence um, and iridescence usually shows age there's a nice soft bit of lavender uh, kind of peachy color maybe through algae maybe not through anything other than that and then a pickle a proper lovely pickle okay well i hope that shows just some of my loony collection and i know it's bonkers but i love it all every single piece i love i love the bad stuff that was brought to me in love um because it's just an expression of kindness and uh i love the unusual pieces look at that lovely bit there Ooh, sorry <laughs> if i don't make you ill that also has iridescence on it um i think you can see that there i hope so there you are and now you know that i'm bonkers um so i don't care you already knew it there you are that was a long tour it's only a little tiny pod <laughs> but um i love it just feast your eyes on those for a moment nom 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 there's black cloud you see that That's the secret, it's not black. It's olive. I don't know if you can see that. It's olive green. Yeah, but when you see it even against green, you can just see how dark it is. There you are. Lovely, isn't it? And also then when it is a little bit dinked, that's what you're seeing, that iridescence also tells you about the age. Okay, peeps. Thank you for your kind attention. <laughs>